Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today in this video, we're going to guide you through the parameter settings of ATO's portable oxygen detector. Now that we've come to the measuring mode, this is all the information we can get from the LCD display. Hit the menu button to go into the detail page. So the first menu item is a long point set, and let's hit the power button to select it. Now in here, you can adjust the low and high alarm values as needed. Press the arrow buttons to revise the figures upward or downward, and you can move to the other digits by pressing the menu button, and make your adjustments in the same manner. Continuously pressing the menu button moves to the high point section and repeat the same operation procedure as in the low point section. Once you're done with the modification, keep in mind to press the power button to confirm your action, otherwise your modification will be cancelled. Next, let's move on to the pump speed setting. In here, you can do exactly what it sounds like. There are totally 11 speed settings in this device. The higher the pump speed, the greater the vibration it will be generating. Confirm your selection and escape to the main menu. The next two options are both concerned about calibration, zero calibration and span calibration. These two steps are necessary for a full calibration of a gas detector. Zero calibration is to be carried out when the drifting is too large after the reading is stable, or once there's a long happening. To activate these functions, you're going to need to enter the password. Please contact us if you need the password. Span calibration, also known as target point calibration, involves applying the standard gas of a specific non-concentration to the sensor without atmospheric dilution and the calibration result should be the concentration of the standard gas. These two calibration steps require rigorous operating conditions. Therefore, these steps need to be done by qualified professionals with necessary accessories and standard gas. And the detector must be calibrated regularly so as to make sure that each time you enter the detection area, the device has already been calibrated. Then, let's scroll down the menu and go ahead to the next option. This is where you can modify the specific date and time of your measurement. All you need to do is hit the menu button to change to different sections, and in each section, you can revise the figure by pressing the two arrow buttons. Then these figures will be modified successfully once you press the power button to confirm. Going back to the main menu, what we have next is the language setting in which you can select your preferred language. Besides, other languages can be customized. Following that is grade level setting. In this item, you can adjust the backlight to achieve the desired visibility. Don't forget to press the central button to confirm your action. Crystal setting is useful when the user wants to reset all the parameters, or there's something wrong with the instrument, like the alarm keeps going off and cannot be stopped. This function needs you to enter password to activate it, because it's not advised to use this feature if the detector works properly. The last three options are all related to the storage function. In storage set, you can enable or disable this function by hitting the right arrow button. Things to be noted, every time you turn on the device, the storage function is off by default. So you need to enable this function manually if you want to check the instrument detection results. Press menu button to navigate to the storage interval. As always, confirm your selection by pressing the on-off button. Then, let's escape from this interface and enter the next sub-item. This is where you can view the history data. The display will give you four lines of information. The first one is data coding, telling how many records have been created so far. Changing codes allows you to review these records that contain the exact readings as well as their specific date and time. And if you want to erase all the history data, just enter this menu option and input the password 9999, then confirm it. The device will beep once and display erasing, then the records have been erased once for all, and the device will return to the measure mode automatically. And perhaps you've already noticed the battery level. It's indicated the detector is in low battery, so we're going to recharge it. Just insert the charging cable into the USB port and plug in the power adapter. 
Then the device will display the recharging status. So this is how we can do the parameter settings of ATO's oxygen detector. We hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to give a like, share and subscribe for more videos related to our gas detectors. And if you are interested in this product, the purchase link has been posted in the description below. Please go ahead, check it out and make your purchase from there. Thank you so much for being here and we can't wait to see you in our next video.